Here's another two-minute history report. When you think about wars fought here in America, there's the Civil War and, of course, the American Revolution. But what do you know about the one in the middle, the War of 1812? In the early years of building our nation, European countries viewed the U.S. as weak. The army was small and the navy had little respect. Great Britain was regularly declaring impressment, forcing sailors from random ships into joining their Royal Navy. In 1807, the USS Chesapeake was attacked by Britain's HMS Leopard near the coast of Virginia. Facing little resistance, the Leopard took four prisoners, but the incident triggered a series of embargoes between the two countries. Tensions grew when the U.S. expanded west and Britain supported the Indians. Finally, with influence from Henry Clay and John Calhoun, two warhawks from the house, James Madison declared war on Great Britain. This means war. It began with the U.S. attacking Canada, part of the British Empire, and the Brits capturing portions of Michigan. Battles on American soil and waters continued for the next two years. Then in August of 1814, British General Robert Ross attacked America's capital and Washington Burns. Luckily, Dolly Madison, the very brave first lady, saved George Washington's portrait from the flames. Then the British launched a 25-hour attack on Fort McHenry in Baltimore. Witnessing the event, Francis Scott Key is inspired to write a poem that later becomes the famous Star Spangled Banner. Finally, the Treaty of Ghent is signed. The war ends, and neither side loses land to the other. Word traveled pretty slow in those days, and the U.S. wins the Battle of New Orleans even after peace is declared. This makes General Andrew Jackson a major pop star of the day. So here it is in a nutshell. There was a big bully off the Virginia shore, so Warhawks declared that it was time for war. There's two years of fighting with the White House in ruin. Dolly saved George, and we got a new tune. No major changes, boundaries stayed the same, but one soldier won by gaining national fame. That's the War of 1812 in two minutes.